Alcid is a werewolf. Um, in season three, uh, the werewolves show up, and werewolves live in a secret society. Uh, one of the episodes, Alcid talks about werewolves living in Jackson, Mississippi for almost 200 years and nobody knowing. If they're very secretive, they keep to themselves, they don't want any uh, form of public identification. And the conflict comes in because there's another pack of werewolves who are crazy and wild and they're causing all this crime and they're kind of threatening werewolves to be found out by mainstream society. Alcid just doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Are you friends with them? I wouldn't call them friends exactly. But this other pack is acting the way that they are, and Alcide realizes that he's got to get involved. My name's Alcide Hervo. I'm here to look after you. And he's kind of a reluctant hero at first, then things keep escalating, and he keeps getting roped in more and more to the adventure. There are two different bands of werewolves in Jackson. For lack of a better term, good wolves. They're werewolves, but they function in society. They have a pack, but they don't, they're not criminals. They're living and passing as humans. It's nice to see a face from the old pack. I figure the new wolves are drinking enough for all of us. The other group, which is the same genetically, are more vicious, more outlaw. These two groups, even though they're the same group genetically, they really, really hate each other. There's also such a thing as a lone wolf. And that seems to be what Alcide is. While he's certainly a member of the decent werewolf pack in Mississippi, he does sort of operate on his own. Alcide has a love for werewolves. He would never want to kill a werewolf. It's not that he wants to kill this other pack. It's that he just wants them to come back into this craziness that's going on that I can't talk about. <laughs> <laughs>